Hey, how y'all doing today? <laughs> Welcome to my live painting with Bob Ross. I hope you can hear me. If you can't, let me know. Send a comment or a like if you can. So, okay, today, yes, a live painting with Bob Ross. So, boy, I have loved Bob Ross ever since I was a kid. I used to watch him on TV and I used to paint along with him. And I'll, matter of fact, I'll share my first painting that I ever did with Bob Ross, right here. Kind of hard to see, there we go. I didn't understand the wet on wet technique when I was a kid, which is basically applying a slick wet surface to the canvas and then painting over that with your oil paints. So now I do, so hopefully this painting turns out. This will be, actually be the second oil painting I've done in about 28 years. So. Uh, bear with me, we'll see what happens. Uh, my first oil painting uh, was Nick's first oil painting in 25 years, so this will be my second. And today, I'm painting along with Bob to Mighty Mountain Lake. That was the winner of the contest, y'all voted on. There was Splendor Winter, Wintertime Discovery, and Mighty Mountain Lake, which just blew all the other, the other two paintings out of the water. So. Josh says I'm a minute early. Well, now it's 10 o'clock, so if you want me to reintroduce what's going on, this is the live painting with Bob Ross today. I got my computer set up so I can see him, and I got my GoPro and my smartphone here streaming live, so there will be a time-lapse version of this on YouTube, my YouTube channel, which is Paint Fantastic Scenes with Nick, so definitely check that out. I appreciate it. So, all right, without any further ado, we're going to get started here because it is 10 o'clock and I want to get going. I don't want to talk too much. So, I am a little nervous, so bear with me. So, all right, I'm going to turn Bob on and let's get going. Hi, welcome back. I'm certainly glad you could join me today. Thanks, You're Bob. Fantastic hopefully, hopefully, you guys can hear Bob so too. So, what? Let's have him run all the colors. If not, I can try to edit that in on you YouTube later. So, with me. And while they're doing that, let me tell you what I've done. I've got my old standard 18 by 24 inch canvas up Same here. here. Yeah. 18 by 24 inch canvas. Even coat of the liquid white. With the liquid white, yes. Yeah, so we are ready so, to rock. Drag out your paints or pull up your easy chair. Either one. And let's have some fun okay. together. Okay. Let's start out today with. Some I do have the colors all ready to go, so I did that ahead of time in the liquid white, so. Just a little bit of it. Let me say that again, a little bit of it, because it is very strong. I think I got a lot. On the two-inch <laughs> brush. Let's go right up here. Let's just drop in a happy little sky. All right, here goes let's nothing. Just do a, let's just do a fun painting today. Start at the very top of the canvas, working all the way across, making little X's, little crisscross strokes. Little crisscross strokes. There we go. And by working across like that, and then begin working downward, your paint is mixing with the liquid white that's already on the canvas and automatically your color will get lighter and lighter toward the horizon. It is, yes. And that's exactly <laughs> what we're looking for today. Cool. Yeah. Let the paint work, the canvas work. Shoot. Take life easy. Just let it go. There we are. Very lightly. So far so good. <laughs> Just take out the brush strokes and bring everything together. Not quick. We got a quick little sky. Sure. Very simple and easy. Run that a little and bit better. Add a little more of that color into the brush. Maybe we'll have a little water. I have enough here. color in the Shoot, brush. I love water. Okay. <laughs> so maybe the water lives in our world. Oh, I'm not sure where it's going to be. So let's just throw some blue in. Where we I'm sure my go. lines are straight, huh? <laughs> Uh, if we don't want water, we'll paint right over it. Oh, we want water We're today, don't we, Bob? At this point, we can do anything that we want to do here. Any old thing. Okay. Now, very lightly, we'll go across the entire canvas. Three hairs and some air. Well, I got about the whole, all the hairs and some air. Yeah, then let's wash your old brush. We'll just scrub him off in some odorless thinner. Got my thinner down here. <laughs> oh, okay, shake it. Oops. <laughs> a devil? I don't think you got any devil in your brush, Bob. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, switching brushes here. That's when you find out who your friends are. Right here on Facebook. All my friends here. Titanium. Okay. 
just pull it in one direction through the brush there. Get a lot of color on the brush. You'd I'm using more paint on my palette than I ever have. This is, I'm like kind of nervous. Sky. This is a lot of paint. That's a lot of money. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, circles. Tiny little circles. There we go. And we're looking for a mm. basic shape here. Don't just throw this on at random and, and hope that a cloud will appear. Sort of plan out what it is you want to do. My clouds aren't turning out. There's too much blue. <laughs> Darn it. Just basic cloud shapes and don't stay in one area and keep working look here if you just stay here and keep working and working and working all you end up with is a big cotton all right ball. let's cut catch up here now i gotta get rid of that see but if you do one of those you do a cloud ectomy okay he was like making a cloud there and didn't like it so he scraped it off with the knife so keep that brush moving let keep it moving yes sir just I don't play clouds are one of the I don't know if y'all know, but Bob was a drill sergeant in the Air Force. Yeah. yeah, I think it was the Air Force. Big old friend. Oh yeah, he was a There we are. He's kind of a mean guy there for a while and then he got out of the Air Force and never wanted to yell again, so that's why he's such a soft spoken painter. There. When we were kids. He makes this look easy by the way, I'm just saying. So same thing happens in your paintings. Do clouds and you stand back. A lot of times you'll see all kinds of things in there. Okay, now oh, he's beating the excess paint the off, isn't he? Corner of the two-inch brush. Okay. Gently, gently blend those clouds. Gently blend them. Just here, now. don't overwork them. All right. Don't overwork them now, but lift them. You're fast, Bob. You're going too fast. Up. Darn it. There we are. Okay. And very lightly. Fluff it. Two hairs and some air. Just give them a little blend. Same thing over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> do some nice practice Maybe with not. The clouds. They're a lot of fun to do, and they're very, very easy. Very easy. I beat the brush just to knock off excess paint. Yeah, he's beating the brush too to knock off excess paint. So that's what I'm doing. It works. So. Make some big old Thanks, Lillian, for the. Yeah, it is a fun, interesting fact, huh? Appreciate that comment. It's hard for me to see the comments while I paint, guys, because um, my yeah, my phone's behind me. So. Maybe there's another little cloud that lives in the front here. So I'll, I'll uh, if I can see him, I will say something. Layer after layer, but do the one that's farthest away first, and work forward. Always working forward. And change that one a little bit. There we go. Maybe it comes right on over here. We don't know. I don't know either. Today I'd like to do a. Let's do a big mountain. I get a lot of requests. Yes, big mountain. Do. That's what we're doing. Can you guys hear Bob? I hope you can hear Bob. Let me know. Snow all over. Hey, Cindy, how you doing? Thank you. Mountains. So maybe we'll try one of those today. And if, uh, I got way too much paint on here. That's even better. But I'm really interested in showing you how to do a mountain today. So let's do that. All right. Let's start with Midnight Black. And we'll put a little Van Dyke Brown into it. Do I'm trying, y'all. <laughs> Midnight Black, Van Dyke Brown, really okay. Pressure on it. Go straight down. Cut across. Get our little roll of paint. Let's go up here. Now you have to you have to make a big decision. Okay, a little roll of paint. Let's try this. Mm. Where's your mountain going to live? Maybe in our world. There it is. You see that? Does that look like a little roll? It's right down here. I hope so. Here. Okay. Shoot, just drop it in. Really push that paint in there. Maybe it goes over here, comes down. There. Boy, all right, mountains. All we Only ever painted one mountain before, so we'll see. Basic, very basic shape. All we're concerned about. Really pushing that paint in there. This okay, push the paint in. I'm trying to do what he says here. <laughs> like I said, he makes this look easy. So, okay, we can hear Bob, Cindy. Thank you. All right. Now, when you do your painting, you do it any way that you want to do it. Any way that I want. I'm doing the way you you're doing it, Bob, because. And that's fine. Because I, uh, yeah. Should make you happy. If there's nothing else. Make You're the one happy. with the experience here. And if it doesn't make you happy, you're doing the wrong thing. Painting makes me happy, so for sure. Because it's fun. It is fun. It Painting is fun. All your life that make you happy. Needless to say, you're going to be a happy person. Let me just take this old big brush and very gently I'll grab some of this. And just pull it. This is just. Pull okay, the pulling the paint here. Let's see. Removes excess paint, makes it even so you can add more colors on top of it. That's all. There we go. Just 
so it blends right on down here toward the base. Okay. Well, we have uh, one huge mountain today. Oh yeah, we do. But we said we was gonna do a big mountain, so what the heck? That's all right. That's all right. Wash the old brush off. Okay, washing the brush here. There we are. There we are. Let's have some fun now. It takes some white. We I got paper towels taped up to get this stuff off. Okay, knife. I'm using the little knife. Okay, titanium white. Little knife. Nice. Little uh, dang. Van Dyke brown. Need a clean area here. But notice, taking one pile of paint, dark sand on one side and white, Van Dyke brown white here. Okay. Now maybe over in here, we'll take some Van Dyke brown, a little black, add a little of the Prussian uh, blue to it. I'm making several different colors. Okay, me too. A little more blue. We'll use that maybe for Can you see the palette? Colors. Ooh, it's so dirty blue. already. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, black. That's Leave all these colors more and more. White. Now, let me wipe the Prussian blue. Off. I just wipe it on a paper towel. Now then, let's go up here, get our little roll of paint. Me too. Paper towel. Paper. There we go. And let's begin picking out some of these little highlights. Touch. Okay. No pressure. Dang. No pressure at all. Touch and just pull. A bit of the shadow cut. I'm behind, Bob. Okay, here we go. Right back in there. Dang. No pressure. Little roll of paint. All right. No pressure. Here and there, we can go back with a little dark. Add some little ridges and all kinds of beautiful little things that are happening. Sort of what do you think? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Whatever you want. Just all types of little things happen in here, though. But absolutely no pressure with a knife. If you put pressure... It's going to look like you iced the cake. I think I'm icing the cake here. Not a cheesecake like I like. So. Just barely, <laughs> barely touching, pulling him down. Ooh. He's using a small knife. I don't have a small knife. I'm using this big knife, so. Oh well. And there's always some dark shadow areas in there. You can just drop them. Doing the best I can here color. with what I got. Which is, you know what? I am using Bob Ross products. Uh, his knife, his paints, his paint thinner, and I better hurry up here. So yeah. Some little things happening. All right. Yeah. He's so good at this. I mean, he's the master, right? So obviously. Maybe there's a maybe there's a peak that lives right there. Maybe way up here. I got right in there for some reason. Think about all the things that live in this mountain. Scrape that off. We don't want that there. Darn it. Tell you what. Tell you what. Maybe there's a glacier in there. Okay. Maybe there's some snow laying up there. I'm taking a little of the Prussian blue and white, piecing it together. Very little blue. A roll of paint. If you want to have a glacier. I am not happy with this mountain, y'all. Oh well. Make a decision. Drop him in. Just let him. Just let him lay in there and sleep. There. Maybe. Comes down here. <laughs> and you know when he's you making a glacier. Tube of paint, you get an artist license, and that license says you can do anything that makes okay, you. Okay. Okay. I like that. So use that license. It's yours forever and ever. Okay. Back to our Okay, so looking good. Thanks. Your encouragement. Yes. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, this is not as easy as it looks. It takes practice, like he says, for sure. There. We don't know. We don't know. Wherever. Okay. Let's see. Shoot, maybe some of that snow is laying down in here. Just playing games here with contrast. A lot of nice contrast. Okay, a nice there. contrast, he said. A lot of nice Maybe contrast. A snow. There it is. It's more snow. We need more snow in the mountain. Where there would be areas of... Which I don't have a mountain over there. Do I? Maybe Dang it. There's snow oh. falling there and it didn't melt. And <laughs> beautiful things happen. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Put some up. Artist license here. Here we go. Put some snow on this side of the mountain. Shoot, we'll get crazy. A little more of the dark sienna. But leave it marble so you have all these streaks happening because when you pick up that roll of paint those streaks 
are still in the paint. They're still in <laughs> If we can come along in here, just change its flavor a little bit. Put a little highlight here and there. I don't think this is turning out like I showed you guys in the thumbnail. Light, <laughs> when you voted on it. But, oh well. A little shadow here and a little shadow there. All right, I'm trying. That's what's fun about it, though. Okay. And it just all kinds of nice things happening. He has nice things happening. I don't. I don't know if yeah. I do. Thanks, Lily. I'm doing. <laughs> for saying I'm doing great. I appreciate it. And begin applying some little shadow things. Got to make those little noises. He says I got to make some noises to make this work. So let's see here. Right oh, that did work! Ha! <laughs> that, that did work. That's awesome. That looks a lot better. Man, look at that. That was fantastic. I get so many letters from young people all across the I'm going to put some shadows down here, too. I like this so much. Painting has opened whole new worlds to them. And it's so wonderful. I'm getting mountain paint in my lake. My gosh, I'm three or four or five years old. Their parents write and tell me that children have taken an interest in it and they watch the show and they, they boy yeah talk about kids so watching the show and painting and back this would be the 90s mid 90 early mid 90s and especially in high school that's how i was i you know i watched bob and and they get together and they paint together well i just and they have they had some bob ross here we are all these years later absolutely flattered. look at his influence and his popularity i mean man i guess he's got a live stream on twitch they play the joy of painting 24-7. That's really cool. It's unreal. And young people Glad to hear that. There's all kinds of, some of Bob Ross mugs. and You can get a Bob Ross Halloween costume. Did you know that? Gotta have the effect. <laughs> Thanks, Aubrey. Yeah, so. You're right. So. so maybe up here. Just sort of look around and see where you think a um, stone should live in your world. Stone. These are some rough. Okay, methods. I guess we're painting stones. And uh, if you take your time, you can do some unbelievable effects like this. Just oh, take your time, I don't know. work at it, play, enjoy. I'm definitely playing with that's it here. The the game. It's enjoying. That's that's more of an abstract yeah, mountain. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. it looks better on this screen than it does in front of my face. I'm just saying, let's just say that. So okay. Yeah. Certainly enjoy what I'm doing. I spend half my yeah. doing definitely else's thing. enjoying what I'm doing here, just like he's saying he enjoyed you painting. Can, so you can ever ever get a job doing the thing that you like to do best, and it's wonderful. That's this is just what I like to do as my job. That'd be great. Brush. Oh, okay. We're switching the two-inch brush here to make some mist. I'm gonna create a little mist down here at the base of this little thing. out the tap marks okay. brings it all together over here we'll follow these angles Sometimes that's not turning out too bad the brush the same way and tap in little grassy things that just go right up in there okay following the angles here like it says very well. Very well. Just shoot maybe we need to do a little touch over here you take a little green a yellow ochre or something it doesn't matter tap a little color in there I just want to show you how I don't really, I'm not really going to do much else. Okay, we're going to put some see, grassy things, I guess, here. So, right on the great thing about oil paint, I'm blending it right out if I uh, make my happy accident. So, okay, green, here we go, sap green. It's very pretty and very effective. Okay. Okay, I might have too much green. That's enough for that. Watch enough, I'm not even get there yet, Bob. Just to Darn. show you how to do that. Oh, that's too much green. He's cleaning his brush already. Oh Maybe well. Back here, let's have some fun. Shoot. We take some black, Prussian blue, Van Dyke brown, have some crimson, maybe a little sap green, whatever you got. Just mix it up. I got a lot. Dark. Okay, let me wipe my knife off here. Uh, Get hey, black, blue, off. crimson, okay. sap green. Okay, find a find a fan brush. Brown. Maybe back here in the back, there's some. Maybe there's some little trees live back here. Let's drop some of those in. 
All right. Ooh. Hey, Timmy, if you're watching, happy trees, buddy. Here we go. So, I told you I'd say it. You can make a whole forest in a second here. There we go. All right. We're just looking for basic, very basic shapes. These are too far away to have much detail. Okay, here we go, trees. Sometimes, here's a problem that happens. You know, make them uh, like this, and it begins looking like a fence. Try a different fan brush here. All you do is just add a few more trees. Just fill that in. They get too far apart and look like a fence. And you can either add a few a few more trees or put wire on it either way. I got it. He's already halfway across the canvas. Whatever. If you want a fence, then that's what you're to have. Sometimes maybe you want one there. Mm. Right. I'm gonna have to pause it. <laughs> The show that last show that we did it. Oh my goodness! So it had Hank Snow in it. That son of a gun's a heck of a painter. I really enjoyed my time with him. We went to Nashville, and Ned and I did. And he just does this no, so nonchalantly, just talking away and dropping in trees like it's nothing. I'm here like I'm struggling a little bit here. Lovely, lovely man. I hope you can all see the canvas too. So. For another 50 years. Well, create the illusion down here. Maybe some little little trunks on those trees. I gotta fill my trees in, so I'm gonna put Bob on pause. So, okay, here we go. All these happy trees. Just using my fan brush and tapping downward here. They're not looking too too terrible. <laughs> so, okay, let's go. Let's go. I think I've got paint too thick in some areas, that's why it's maybe not showing up too well or but uh hey it's a learning process so and it's fun, I'm having fun. You guys are having a good time watching, I think I'm I'm definitely having a good time doing it. So hey Debbie Gregory, looking good so far, she says. Thank you, I appreciate it. So if y'all want to send me some likes or some little hearts, that'd be cool too. I appreciate it. <laughs> so maybe I'll do a video where I watch this back and I can comment on all your comments that'd be cool so well I'm not getting this too even am I all right well I was going to offer this painting for sale afterwards but I don't know so <laughs> That's pretty fun though. If you guys if you haven't painted before, you should try it. This, this is a blast. Uh, painting for me has always been my uh, relaxation, my meditation, reliever of stress. Yeah, it's very relaxing, very relaxing. That's why I like watching Bob Ross is because he's just so soft-spoken. It's just um, so relaxing to listen to him. I guess if you uh, you can look uh, Google it or something, you can they have audios or it's just Bob talking the relaxation audios audios, um, pretty cool. You can just turn Bob on and listen to him talk and sit back in your easy chair and relax. Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. Maybe cover that right there. Up here. Gosh, it's just pretty cool how you can just lay all these in fairly quick. So, all right, I'm looking at his painting to see, make sure I got enough area covered here before we go on to the next step. I think so. Let's go. All right. Just take a look white on the fan. And brush. the man is back. Grab it. Okay, look white on the fan brush. Make it look like little trunks that are far, far away. Okay. If you happen to put one in there that's too light. Oh yeah, I'm making it look like trunks by lifting up. That's pretty awesome. As long as I pull straight up, huh? Okay. Yeah then. Maybe back here. Just use that same old color. Just gonna tap in what'll end up being 
little land area. Okay, land area. Here we go. A little land. See, remember we weren't worried about where our lake was going to be or a little pond. Because we decided we could just chop off whatever we didn't want. Oh, we're not chopping off the lake. We're keeping the lake. We like the lake. Because it is Mighty Mountain Lake. So. Okay, and grab and pull and straight just down. Instant reflection. Okay. Instant reflection. It's that easy. Then go gently and lightly across. There you are. Okay, now then let's put some let's put some pretty things out there. Maybe this is fall and all the beautiful colors are beginning to happen. Let's go over here and some red and Indian yellow. Make this one. Okay, we're trying here. We're trying. Ooh, I'm gonna need a different brush. Uh, uh, today to do some beautiful colors. See what we can do here. Nice, bright colors. It's a fantastic day. It's a good day to be alive. It is a good day to be alive, isn't it? Every day's a good day to be alive. I think I got too much paint again. Just happy. Okay. There. Okay, let's see what we got here. Maybe we'll come over on this side. Just drop in a few more little things. All right, all right, not bad, not bad. Now think about the lay of the land. I'm thinking about it. Okay. It's getting very important. Ooh, beautiful red color there. Get some orange in there. In Alaska, yeah. we have a lot of mountains like this, and in the fall, the colors will change, and you have all the oranges and yellows and red. Looks like, looks like a painter went crazy and his palette spilled all over okay the, okay all over the not, not too uh not too bad i've never seen i'm, I'm sweating here guys i'm sweating i'm gonna do a good job for y'all so if y'all like this maybe you can turn it to a regular thing i don't know necessarily about i could do the other bob ross stuff that'd be cool but uh you know maybe show you some of my stuff so let's just scrub a little dirt down here at the bottom just really scrubbing that in That'd be fun to make it a weekly thing. Hopefully, that'd be cool. So, okay, he's already on to the next step here. So we're scrubbing in dirt. Let's just put a little water in, just to break it up. Okay, dang it, Bob. Let's let's see here. Maybe there's some bigger evergreens. We'll just take the fan brush, go right into that. All right, I'm going to quit talking. I'm going to do this quick. Mm. Let's come right up here. Maybe there lives in our own world. Maybe there's an evergreen over there. All right. Just sort of look around. And your painting, because each painting is different. Each painting some is different. Some little light. Just put them in and go with them. Put these water lines in like he's talking one. about. And make more happy trees. So right, Timmy? Cutting in water lines with a knife, that's cool. So. Yeah, All right, hey, that looks awesome. I'll tell you what, let's do. Let's put some, yep, right along here. Let's just close this little pond in. If we had another 10 minutes on the show, there wouldn't be a pond at all. We just keep taking a look. Okay, I pause Bob again, because uh, I need to catch up, so. Taking this old dirty color here, this uh, boy, I got browns and blues and blacks and greens and crimson. Okay. Moment of t hey, that would be cool, wouldn't it, Cindy? Yeah, I, I think it would. Thank you. So, all right, so putting in some evergreens. So, Bob's old uh, famous fan brush evergreen technique. So, let's see what we can do here. Hmm. Just tapping down with the top of the brush and then using the corner of the brush. That's not really showing up too good. Using the yeah, the brush to just drop them in here. So I can always go back later and uh, tidy up a bit, maybe. Or when it dries. <laughs> I can make it look look more like Bob's painting. So let's see, we got one over here. I'm gonna have to stand in front of the painting for a second, y'all. So I 
Oh wow. I've done I've done evergreens in acrylic before and not like an oil. Well, okay, I guess I did them that first painting, but not not as big. Uh, hmm. I got a lot of paint on the canvas. I don't think he's smearing as much paint around as me, so uh, maybe his is turning out better because of, well, he's Bob Ross. That's why his is turning out better, uh, right? I, I yeah. <laughs> Okay, what do we got here? Let's see, another one in the background here, maybe. Boy, that's not as easy as it looks. Oh, well. Okay. We don't make mistakes, right? As Bob says, we have happy accidents. So let's make it taller. That looks better. Awesome. All right. Yeah, acrylic has been my primary uh, medium I've worked with, so working in oil is definitely different, different, definitely a challenge. But I want to do more oil painting, so. Okay, that's good. Let's move on. More and a little more away from it. More land at the bottom. He's just punching in land down here. Out there. Just enough to be very pretty. Okay, we can come back with our nice highlight colors, our fall colors, and ochres and yellow and bright red. And let's just begin putting in all kinds of little, little grassy things here. Oh, there's some more of that red. I like that. It's pretty. Okay. I'm going to grab a different brush. Sorry about that. The foreground, take some liquid white, put it to some, oh, some cad yellow. Right over here. My bad. Right right Can y'all hear me again? Maybe there lives a happy little bush right along here. I had my mic on, it totally pulled yeah. away. Just put all kinds of little, look at that. Little bush right here in the front. Maybe, ooh, there's a nice red one. Jack Frost has hit him hard. All right. We're going to go without the mic here. So that's uh, there we go. oops. Just some little things right down here in the foreground. And in our world, maybe there's Bloopers. a nice evergreen tree right there. Use just the corner of the fan brush. Work back and forth, back and forth. You guys sideways now? <laughs> there we are. Oh, my goodness. How are we doing here? Can I get an indication? Shoot, that's fun. Let's, let's have one over here. There he goes. There, back and forth. I had a lady in class one time. She called these Z trees, like Zorro. That might be an excellent analogy. Just back and forth. Back and forth. I'm sideways. Okay. I get a lot of letters asking if I still teach classes. And I really don't teach many classes anymore. We have a lot of young people that are good and tough. <laughs> they can go out here and do it. Is that better? I, I feel, uh, it, see, it's sideways on my screen, but am I sideways to you guys? But we have a lot of teachers that travel around and teach, including my son, Steve, that little rascal. Well, he's a heck of a painter. A little yellow, a little green. Put a little highlight. Am I good, Lillian? Screen. I think we'll be about done. Come right along there. A little more sap green. That's a little too bright yet. Oh, that's upside nice. down. Yeah, I call Steve a little uh -huh. devil. He's six foot five. It's not so little. He calls me shorty. We are experiencing so, technical difficulties. On these How's things. that? Shoot, we got a finished painting. Really hope you've enjoyed this one. It's a lot of fun. That mountain will give you a little challenge. But it'll teach you how to use all the equipment and to make some fantastic Perfect. Things. All right. So, until next time. Well, Bob's done. Happy and I'm just catching up, so I'm going to turn him off. 
sort of catch what he was doing. And I, I have a picture of the painting here too, so I'm just gonna, we're gonna fly by the seat of our pants here and see what we can do, so. Okay. That's great, all right, cool. I'm just gonna finish putting in the fall colors here. Like I said, I, I didn't expect to like uh, pull my mic out of my phone and knock it over, so sorry about that, but um, yeah, anyways. I am not, I'm putting this on YouTube still, unedited, because I think that'd be hilarious, so, yeah, so you can all get a good laugh, <laughs> so, I don't mind, laugh away, laugh away, it's, uh, for your entertainment, just dropping in some fall colors here, the oranges, little just distant bushes and stuff yeah so I don't want to overdo it I've been known to do that in other paintings I've, I've done so okay so then what he did he um, he took his fan brush and he made some more trees We're in that same dark color we're about finished here just I'm gonna put a few trees in highlight them and put some more more orange bushes so all right, what do we got? We got one over here. Big old pine tree there. Big old pine tree. I don't know if the sound's probably not as good, so I'll have to speak up, but um, yeah. It's a learning experience. Definitely a learning experience, figuring this all out. So, okay, I appreciate it, <laughs> Cindy. Oh, thank you so much. So I can't wait to watch the playback on this. That's gonna be hilarious. So. Okay. Cool. Getting better and better. Let's see. A big one over here. Well, it it's really something to be able to do this in a half hour. I definitely admire Bob for, uh, gosh, just being able to knock out a painting in a half hour. I read, or actually, yeah, I've read it and seen it online that um, Bob would film an entire season of The Joy of Painting in two days over a weekend. He lived in Florida, and he would go to Muncie, Indiana, and film the... The shows in the studio there in Muncie and so I, I, I don't know maybe each season was about 13 episodes so he do do those over the weekend and uh, uh, he also he did a few versions of each painting so he had the original painting which he created let's say at home um, and then then he would do the the show version of the painting and there would be an instructional book version of the painting. And I have one of his instructional books. And if when I look at that and I look at like the show version, uh, there, you can tell a bit of a difference between the paintings because no painting is ever painted uh, exactly the same. So unless you're like a like a master copy artist, uh, forger or something like that. I mean, it is possible, I guess, but uh, so we're not trying to copy here. We're just trying to share the joy of painting that Bob, you know, uh, shared with everybody to share it with you to bring you joy in your life. So that's, the, that's, that's a big reason why I paint. I paint because, for one, it's my relaxation meditation. I enjoy it. It's just good and healthy for me, but I also, I, I like to do it to uh, make other people happy. Um, when somebody, somebody sees a painting that I've done and they, uh, it makes them smile, uh, that makes me feel good. And I, I feel good knowing that they feel good. And that's why I did music for so long too, is why I played the drums. And I, I did it because I enjoyed it and it was rela or good stress relief and fun. And uh, But also it was, it was fun to 
play a show and have people up there that are in the audience that knew the songs and were singing along and having a good time. And Okay, let's highlight these trees and, uh, well, let's put some trunks in first. Just taking the knife here and uh, I don't know how he said to do it. I'm just going to do what I think he did, so... Okay, that works. More practice though. Okay, over here. Just uh, putting a little roll of paint on the knife and touching trunks in on these happy trees here. So. Boy, Timmy, I hope you're watching. I, I haven't seen you popping up here, but uh, it's okay. You can watch it back later, bud. Okay, so I'm not totally liking those trunks, but we're gonna highlight the trees, so that's gonna cover up our little happy accidents there. All right, I'm just going to some cadmium yellow and sap green on a different fan brush, and I'm just gonna, I don't know, Figure out which way the light's coming from. Let's say that it's coming this way, so highlight the trees that way. Just covered up my little trunk there that I didn't like. <laughs> That's cool. Like I said, I am I'm gonna put this uh, on YouTube. I'm gonna I'm going to try to edit Bob in so y'all can see him talking while I paint, like have a little thumbnail in the corner or something. But, uh... <laughs> Boy, so yeah, that I think that'll be fun to watch. And there's going to be a time lapse of it too, so and you, I'll edit out my uh, little mic fo or little mic accent there, so let's put some over here real quick. Well, as like I say, Bob makes this look so easy, so maybe I should stick to acrylic painting. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. Now let's just put those um orange bushes in and I think we'll allow ourselves a finished painting here. So I'm just gonna put some liquid white on my palette to thin the paint a little bit. Cause as Bob always says, the thin paint will stick to a thick paint. Okay, I'm just going to tap in some orange, orangish, maybe put some red in there too, I like that, ooh yeah, he calls these firecrackers, I'm going to make a firecracker, pop these firecrackers in down here, oh yeah, that's nice, a lot of paint. See, that's why I said I think I have too much paint on the brush because uh, the paint I'm putting on the brush is mixing with the paint underneath and it's making it look a bit muddy. But, oh well. Learning, like I said. Okay. Pop some yellows in there. Oh yeah, that's better. I'm trying not to keep painting over the same thing over and over again. I'll just muddy it up more, huh? Uh, some over here oh yeah I'm liking that that looks better and so if you do I'll check this out on YouTube later like I said the time-lapse or the like the other version of this I create with uh, hopefully Bob edited and uh, my channel is paint fantastic scenes with Nick so yes there currently is a lot of um, like how-to stuff on there, like how to open a tube of paint. Yeah, because believe it or not, there is the right way to do that, and um, how to varnish things. It's it's uh it's it's aimed at artists, but it's also aimed at uh, people that are interested in art. So definitely check it out and subscribe, 
like the videos, give them a big thumbs up, and I definitely appreciate that. So, I, I think we're going to call this finished. <laughs> yeah. I, I did my best. I did my best. So, we are going to sign it. I use usually Bright Road to sign my paintings. Why? Well, I always watch Bob sign his in bright red, but it does show up uh, a lot better. I don't always use bright red. I've used orange and white and different. It just depends on what the what the colors in the painting are. So I just did a portrait of my cat. I signed in orange, so that'll be up soon. So, okay. I usually sign in the bottom left corner, just my initials, NS. So here we go. a lot of paint it's not thin enough just adding thinner to the liner brush here okay I don't know if you can all see that on camera or not but there it is and that is live painting with Bob Ross so I hope y'all enjoyed it like I said uh, we'll do it again maybe <laughs> we'll see what your comments say and if you're all interested in that and uh and uh maybe we can do that again on another saturday and i'll uh, for sure let you know so uh thanks for tuning in and like i said uh, you can check it on youtube on paint fantastic scenes with nick definitely appreciate it if anybody's interested in this um let me know and we'll uh, we'll talk about it. just message me or or something like that so um yeah so that's all. Uh, Y'all have a good day. Thanks for tuning in. I definitely appreciate it. And um, like as I always say, I can't see myself. My screen's messed up. So uh, peace. Take care.